That's right, we're back. Jesse K. Tat Wiz, a hot in tech. Listen, today we want to get into some health stuff. I have in the building sports tech giant. I'm going to call him a giant because physically he is a giant and he's about to become a giant because this tech is so innovative and revolutionary it's going to blow up. It is from a company called the Batois and it is a device called the Mercado which is his last name. Mario Mercado, how are you feeling, sir? I'm doing well. What's going on? Man? For Pretty good, pretty good. So listen, for those that don't know, MMA is coming to New York. Yes. And you helped make that happen. Exactly, yeah. Right. Tell us why you're here today in Hot and Tech. Tell us the technology that you have. I know, but they need to know what's what's going on. Tell them what the, the Mercado so, is. So, you know, as you know, concussions is a big problem in sports, um, whether it's football, uh, hockey, what have you. Uh, it's really the number one problem affecting sports today. Right. So I wrestled for a long time. I wrestled uh, for Syracuse, a place called the New York Athletic Club, for the U.S. team. And I coach a lot of guys here in New York as well, a lot of MMA fighters. Um, but we found that concussions was, was a problem for us because the headgears weren't really doing the job that they ought to do. Right. So in wrestling, we had something that was the, the headgear, which just covered your ears to help you, you, know, you know, not get cauliflower like this. Right, right. But unfortunately, it did not protect the front of the head. So when I was in grad school, originally at NYU, we had uh, put together a student research team uh, from the mechanical engineering department to go and look at how we can design a better product. So that's what we did. We entered a competition that was sponsored by NYU. We, we, we uh, beat about 54 different teams. And uh, NYU gave us some cash to go and to uh, start up the company and put the concept from, uh, from an idea uh, to a formal company, um, put on another team some uh, biomedical and mechanical engineers and neurologists from Columbia University. Nice. And these are some of the best guys in the business who know um, concussion, who know material development, who know foams to put this, uh, help us make this, uh, uh, this concept into reality. All right. So we went to uh, Italy mm -hmm. and uh, my business partner, um, he designed actually, Richard Walker, he designed all the eyewear for Matrix Films. Nice. For Laura Craft. So, you know, to want to make it, you know, stylish and sexy. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows that what's really iconic about the Matrix Films is really uh, the eyewear. Yeah. So Richard said, you know what, let's make this in, uh, in Italy. It's the best place um, in the world known to make um, high-tech uh, helmets for, um, for cycling. Found a spot there, and uh, that's what we did. It's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful-looking uh, helmet. So tell us, tell us what it does. So it's, it's like a glove to your head. It shapes your head, protects your chin, your forehead, your back, uh, all the important lobes of your head. It gives you what's pretty light, and uh, it has a knob in the back where you twist, and it locks everything in into your jaw, into your head. And uh, air circulation, um, a lot of wrestlers not only you know, get head injuries for like a concussion, but also cut some bruises on the eye, the forehead, um, and even on the chin. So it just, it's more elegant. It's, it's, uh, that's what it is, it's an elegant piece of equipment. When you get hit, you get rattled, like your bones shake, your, your brain shakes with, so it kind of stops yeah. that shake from happening and that rattling from happening, throwing you all off. Well, what happens is that in combat sports, you're always told, told to, uh, and coach, to lead with your head. Mm -hmm. You know, because your head is your first line of defense, but then also it's your first line of attack. But what happens is that if it's exposed and open, you're gonna get cuts and bruises all over the place. So for like wrestling and even MMA, you coach at a young age. From still, like, I wrestled since, since I was like five years old. So from that young age, we're, we're taught to lead with our head. And I can't begin to tell you, you know, whether it's getting a, you know, a left hand from my mother <laughs> or a right hand from my opponent, I need something you know, to protect me. Right, right, right. Okay. And how are you, who's using this? How are people starting to find it? So what we did is that it's four years of development. We actually won this competition in 2012 um, as proof of concept. And then we just came out with the initial, uh, with the final version um, about, uh, about a month and a half ago. So we signed, so John Smith, who is the head coach of Oklahoma State, John Smith is a six time Olympic world champion. He saw the helmet, the Mercado, uh, down in, uh, at the junior, at, at the cadet uh, world championships um, in France. So he said, you know what, that's pretty cool. He goes, I want to buy 17 of them. And this is a guy, you know, again, the most famous, one of the most famous wrestlers in the world, mm. head coach of Oklahoma State, which is the number one ranked uh, college uh, team in the country. And he goes, you know what, 
my guys are getting banged around all the time. I gotta get, I gotta get 17 of them. Mm -hmm. Then we have, um, we got University of Missouri, uh, which is ranked like top five or top six in the country. Uh, NC State was actually the first um, school to contact us uh, uh, over email. And I think they're ranked like fifth in the country as well. So we have some of the top schools in the country saying, you know what, this is a problem, um, but this is cool looking. You know, let, let's jump aboard and let's, uh, let's use it. Are the professional fighters using it? So we're actually making a, a, a different version for, um, for MMA fighters. But Henzo Gracie has used it, and he's shown it. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Gracies. Oh, yeah, legends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my the goodness. The Gracies are, you know, the politics, you know, as a kid of the politics, you know, as a great start to fighting. So he goes, you know what, let's do one. He goes, I'll help you, you know, design it for our needs. I love what it does. It's going to protect our fighters. It's going to give them a better look. Uh, let's do it. So right. that's what we're doing now. Okay. Should we bring the technology out? Yeah. yeah, let's see. Let's show them what it looks like. So, go ahead. There you go. So, it's kind of forward. I'm not going to lie. It gives me a Tron feel just without the lights. Listen, it, it, it makes kids look cool. It makes you look cool as well. The thing is, is that when you first look at it, you would think that it's a hard show helmet. Right. But it's flexible. You just turn the dial in the back. It opens up. A little dial right there. Yep. And then, and then you slip it on, and then you're ready to go. Oh, God. And it. just pull the tail, and there you ah, go. Ah, got yeah. it. Put it on just like a football. It might be a little. Ah, there you go. It's a little. Yeah. It's, there you go. So I have to finish the interview like this, I guess. <laughs> That's a little small. Beast for you. It's a. It's a little. I got a big head, Paul. Yeah. But we, we come in. It comes in actually uh, six different I got sizes. A beard too. And and with each size, you have uh, a different size range between each one. I feel like I look crazy. <laughs> I mean, look. You, well, listen, listen. For fighting, it's I, I, as chic I get as it, it gets. Like, I see. It, it definitely feels compact. I played football for a little while in high school, and I know sometimes you run out on that field, and you're like, do I have the right helmet on? Because this is moving around. You know, you, you want to make sure that the chin strap's extra tight because you feel like the helmet might be too big already. So I get it. Like, this, this puts your mind at ease when you're playing those events. Like, that's the last thing you got to think about at that point. So. I, I get that it, it makes total sense. And these are retailing where? So it's actually going to be initially uh, on our website. So they're for kids uh, of all ages. Um, and uh, we actually, we're going to use this. Um, our first official fight that we're going to use this for is going to be at a, an event called FNT, which is going to be in February. February. Yeah, so it's, a, it's, it's going to be a really hot show. It's going to be during Fashion Week. Um, it's going to be a combination of, of amateur MMA and amateur Muay Thai, and uh, it's really going to be hot. It's part of the movement of MMA um, and combat sports being legalized in New York. Dope, dope. But, but y'all yeah. have some stuff coming up in November, correct? Yeah, so uh, November th uh, 27th at Madison Square Garden, it's the uh, grapple at the garden. So it's right. some of the top high school and college teams in the country are going to be competing. And actually, we're going to be having this, uh, the Mercado is going to be on, on some of the guys as well. They I mean, can we, fight with it. It's legal yeah, now. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely legal. Uh, and um, we had our uh, first commercial on NBC Sports uh, two Fridays ago. Nice. Yeah, which is really hot. It was shot in 3D. Um, it looked really, really cool. So we're given a whole brand new image um, of wrestling, combat sports in total, showing how tech is not just for uh, football, but also for, which is now probably the hottest uh, and the sexiest part of uh, the sports sector now is combat sports all over the world. All right. That's what's up. So basically keeping the kids safe in the future. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. How do kids like say soccer mom has a wrestler on her in her, you know, as a kid? How does she get this for a child? She can go to a hot website, uh, batois.com. That's B-A-T-S-T-O-I.com. And uh, you can go and purchase it there. I will also have a uh, a discount for uh, the Hot and Tech. Um, oh, we're going to throw a Hot and Tech promo code oh, on it. Of course. You're oh, kidding nice, me. Absolutely. Nice, nice. Now, what's the retail for? Retail's for $150. $150. Yeah. Not a, you know, there's no price that keeping your kids safe, you yeah. know, is totally worth it. So, and what are we offering as a discount? We'll do it at 85 That's like half. That's fire. They can't even be mad at that. No, you, listen, like, like you said, you can't put a price on quality and safety. Man. That's it. That's it.
Mario, listen, um, really appreciate you coming by, sharing this information with us. I personally know that there's going to be some updates that they really want to know about. Yeah. So when that happens, you have to come back because that is going to change the game. Oh, it's going to be my pleasure. Definitely, sure. definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you.